Now the remaining part is if W amount is greater than current amount, then we want to show this insufficient balance. But if W amount is less than current amount, then we have to do all the things, right? Mathematics. So let have let new current balance. And this is called camel casing, right? This naming convention is, you know, it's very, what do we say? It's, it's like um, self-explanatory kind of variable identifier we are taking, right? New curve balance. It's very much visible why we are taking it. New current balance will be current amount minus withdrawal amount, correct? But then we have to set this new current balance or let's, let's first show this, okay? Let's first show this. So we want to, as per our, uh, this assignment, we want to see, show withdrawal successful and your new balances now this, okay? And for that, we have used one label. So we have to set this value in the final message. So what we will say, what we will say is same thing, document dot get element by id and that id is final what is that let's copy paste this one final message uh, final message dot inner html something like that you have to do is equals to is equal to some message. So let me let me just write it. Uh, successful. That's it. I am writing just successful. Later on, later on we will make a full fledged message. But as of now, I want to do this thing only. If I right click and say open in default browser, if I make five thousand rupees as a withdrawal, if I click here, see here it's saying successful. So it's working. It's working successful but my message is not just successful let's create a message so you can say let let message is equal to you can create a message so successful successful with draw your new balance is and you can concat means if you want see this is characters, but now you want to use a value, right? This is integer or some value. So what you have to do? You have to use plus sign to you know continue with your message. But you want to use a value here, correct? So think it. This is like as it is, it will be a string, but then you have to concatenate it or append it with a value. So you just have to say inner HTML is equals to MSG. Okay. What we are doing, we are preparing one message here. What we did, we are preparing let MSG is equals to successful withdrawal. Your new balance is this new balance. And then we are saying document dot get element by ID final message. Put that Inner HTML, it's like we want to fill the um, values of that label as this message. I believe it should work. So let's run this. Going back, refresh this. Let's put here 2000. If I click on get money, it's saying successful withdrawal. Your new balance is 8000. Perfect. But there is an error. So that's why the test engineer, you know, comes into picture. So if I give this application to someone, right, that test my application, I have written good code or not. So what they will do, they will withdraw. And then again, they will withdraw here, 3000 rupees. And it, they, they will click here. So it's saying 7000. Whereas it should be 5000 because I withdraw 
two thousand first, and then three thousand again, right? So my final balance should be five thousand, not seven thousand. Correct. So there is some issue here. For other people, if you are not able to understand what I am saying, I am repeating. What is happening as of now is, let me withdraw. Let me withdraw nine thousand rupees. Okay. And if I click on get money, it's saying successful withdrawal. Your new balance is 1000. Right? One withdrawal is successful. Now, if I again withdraw 2000, it should not allow me because it's saying your new balance is 1000. Now I am withdrawing 2000 rupees again. If I click on the get money, it should say insufficient balance, but it is not saying that. Why? Because this value is not changing. We should change this value, right? So let's change it. So what we will do, this new current balance should be set as the current balance value. So what we have to do, let me think what, what I'm saying is, um, you should do, let me write it, it should be like this document dot get element by id which is current amount dot value should be equal to new current balance now it's fine i think this one done save it let's run this again so this time if i make first withdrawal as 9000 if i click on the get money it's saying successful withdrawal your new balance is 10000 oh but again it is not changed the reason is probably because we made it read only let's let's check whether there is some error see here it's saying me one error it's saying me one error it's saying that uncaught type error cannot set properties of null setting value Right, there is some error. So now I guess you guys are able to understand. Sometimes you see some error in in your inspect window or console, right? So that is because maybe some error at the code level, right? So that's sometimes we report this thing to the developer also, right? So you now you are able to you know relate it like what kind of um mistake developer does fine the reason is what i am assuming is thing is we made it read only and then we want to change it let me check whether we are doing correct or not so uh, document dot get element by idca and we want to set the value as new current balance i think that is fine but this is integer that will be another reason we want to set the value but this is integer so how to convert it to string oh my god can i as of now i'm just for a hack I, i'll do something else also but let me do something i'll say plus some space i'm just checking it then we will do something else so if I say 9,000, get money, get money. Oh, it's not changing. Fine, 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 fine. We'll not do it in this way. Just a minute. New current balance is fine. We are setting the value, but we have to delete that. Let's delete that read only tag first. Okay, we deleted it. Okay, it's CB, not CA. My bad, my bad. It's CB. Oh, 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 it's CB. Let's keep it read, read only again. It was read only. Okay. Let's do it again. Refresh. 9000. Get money. Yeah, it's working. It's working. It's working. See here. Now, if I withdraw again 2000, it should say insufficient balance. It's saying me insufficient balance. Perfect. But the uh, assignment is not completed. The thing is, if withdrawal is successful, let's make it in green color. If withdrawal is not successful, let's make it in uh, red color, maybe. 
So how to do that? Even I don't know how to do that. So what I'm saying is this message uh, in the label should be red color. Uh, insufficient. Okay, let's set the message first. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. Basically, we don't have to show the alert. What we'll say, let message is this. And you should simply say insufficient balance. Just a minute. Insufficient balance. And this is the message for the final message. So it's working, I know. But the thing is, I want to show it in in red color so how to change the color of label dynamically on click so our google should be what we should search is how to change the color of label in html on click of button so we we, we are searching exactly you know exact thing how to do that how to change the color and name of button on click okay let's see what uh, so button class so i want to change the color i'm searching in stack overflow stack overflow is a very good website where you can learn something so is a little bit complex what we want to achieve is little bit like ui developer does it but nothing is impossible. So on button click, we want to, so this is changing the style of the button. We want to change it to, oh, it's like this. You get that element and then you can do it. So this is doable. I'm not doing it um, as of now, but it's, it's possible. It's not a difficult thing, okay? It's not a difficult thing to do that. But as of now, our, our assignment is complete. The basic part is done. The basic part is done. Let's run it again. Let's run it and check it whether it is working. You know, now we are doing testing. It's working with all possible things or not. So our current balance is 10,000. Let's make the withdrawal of 3,400 first. Click on get money. It's saying successful withdrawal. Your new, new balance is 6600. It is showing it here also. It is making there and there the current balance also. Yeah. Now let's withdraw. Uh, let's withdraw. Let's withdraw 5,000 now. And if I click on get money, it's saying successful withdraw. Your new balance is 1,600. Let's withdraw 2,000 rupees. So now it should say insufficient balance. Correct. And it's not changing. So current balance is still. 1600. So this ATM withdrawal functionality is working fine.